One of the advantages with Microsoft Office applications is that you can not only use them as standalone products, but you can utilize their interoperability. This interoperability goes over many levels. In this video we will show a quite basic usage of it, but it can still hopefully bring much more productivity to your daily work. As you attend work meetings, you probably take a lot of notes. Hopefully you take them with Microsoft OneNote. In our other videos we have shown how you can be even more efficient with your notes and take them to the next level. We have also been showing various tips and tricks in other Microsoft Office applications, for instance Microsoft PowerPoint. Among others, we have looked into the usage of the Outline view. Combining the power of Microsoft OneNote and Microsoft PowerPoint, you can easily convert your OneNote notes to PowerPoint presentations with just a few clicks and key presses. Let's say that you have some notes containing your project or review. In this video, we will use the project or review template which we showed in one of our previous videos. This template contains only placeholders, so for the sake of this demonstration we will fill some of them and leave the others unchanged. You can mark the whole text of your note and copy it to clipboard. Then you can switch to PowerPoint and go to View and choose Outline View. This view shows your slides in a list-like layout where particular elements on your slide are list items at various levels. When you open a new presentation in PowerPoint, it has one empty slide already created. This is reflected by an empty line at the first level of the list. If you start typing some text, it will become the header of this slide. Subsequently, if you add new lines and indent them, for instance by pressing Tab, you will see that these lines will be added as elements to your slide. In order to see it in a better way, let's change the layout of the slide to title and content. As you can see, the top line becomes the header and lines at lower level become lines in the content box on the slide. If you create a new top level line in the outline view, you will create a new slide. Let's now remove this example slide. We can do it simply by removing all text in the outline view. Since we have previously copied the contents of our notes from Microsoft OneNote to Clipboard, we can simply paste them here so that we do not have to retype the whole text. As you can see, PowerPoint pastes the text copied from Microsoft OneNote, but unfortunately it doesn't keep the structure. This is one thing that Microsoft can still improve. All the text is entered as elements of the first slide, and that is of course incorrect, but we can easily work around this. Just place your cursor at the beginning of the second line and press backspace and then enter and then tap. This will effectively tell PowerPoint that the first line is supposed to be the header of the first slide, whereas all the remaining text is supposed to be considered as content. You can already see that the text looks slightly better, but this is still far from what we want because our goal is to get one slide per point in our notes. But this is very easy. The next point in our notes is project goals. Just place your cursor at the beginning of that line in the outline view and press Shift Tab. This will decrease the indentation level of that line, effectively making it to the header of a new slide. The rest of the text is made to the contents of the second slide. We can now repeat this step for each point of our notes. Description, Team Resources, Procedures, Schedule, Current Status, and Related Documents. With these few simple steps, we have now created 8 slides with contents. As you can see, slide 8 with related documents shows in a bit of a strange way because its contents are supposed to be on two levels. This is very easily adjustable. Just increase the indentation level of the items that need to be on the second level. So now we have our presentation with contents, but of course it doesn't look nice because we do not have any theme or other formatting applied. One option is to simply pick any of the available themes from the design menu. This will already make your presentation more visually appealing. However, if you want to take it a step further, you can make good use of the designer functionality available in the home menu. In order to be able to use the designer, you have to first switch to the normal view. You can do it in the view menu. When you are in the normal view, the designer button gets activated. You can then select individual slides and click on the designer button. In the pane on the right hand side, you will get suggestions to the graphical layout of your slide. 
Please note that the designer can not only suggest different layout to your text, but also propose symbols and pictures to illustrate your text in a good way. The designer can even suggest very cool opening slides. As you can see, if you have your notes to start with, you can create PowerPoint presentations in literally minutes with the help of the outline view and the designer. We hope that this video has given you a good overview of how to increase your productivity by utilizing Microsoft OneNote notes and converting them to PowerPoint presentation. Make sure to check our other videos to learn more about various Office applications.